What's up, guys? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I, and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. Thank you for joining me once again, my friends. I hope all is well with you. Now, right off the bat, guys, I want to say welcome. Throw open the doors. Welcome, children. Welcome. Come on in. Embrace me. <sighs> so all of the new subs that I've gotten over the last few days, and I want to shout out all of the content creators who have been shouting me out over the last few days. I'm sure that's what this is about. So, you know, thank you to all of you out there. And um, I hope that you stick around for a while because inevitably, I will piss you off. Inevitably, you will disagree with me most violently. And I hope that you stick around because we don't have to agree on everything, okay? My job is simply just to make people think. That's what I'm here for. I just like to make people think because everything in our society these days is set up to not make us think, you know what I mean? So I just wanna be in that number that reminds us that it's okay to think, it's okay to disagree, so you know what I mean? Hang around, won't you? Now listen, let's talk about what this video is actually about. I'm in my comment section, guys. I, I read all of the comments that I can. And um, I saw one a few days ago when I did the initial video about Robin with a Y hood. And I kind of like made note of it because I do want to address it because it kind of illustrates what the danger of this can be. All right. Not just to, you know, the fragile egos of white men, because I know people like to focus on that. Right. And, you know, white people don't like it. It's just too bad. But it's also bad for black people. It's also bad for anybody who thinks logically or who would like to think logically. And I want to highlight this comment with all due respect because it kind of illustrates what I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to read the comment and I'm going to give you my thoughts on that and my response to it. OK because we gotta get something straight here, guys. This cannot go on the way it is, where people are manipulating our sensibilities to the point where we can be self-destructive. When we're not self-aware, we become self-destructive, okay? So, let's get into this comment that I uh, saw on uh, this video. And this is from L Dark Song, all right? Or Loki Dark Song, I think it is. And he says, well, brother, I've seen both episodes. I have no problem with this adaptation of the Robin Hood legend, and I do know the legend very well. The Robin Hood has been adapted for decades in various ways in various countries. There was even a 2019 animated version called Sherwood that took place in the 23rd century. The 23rd century, like Buck Rogers? No, that's the 25th century, anyway with a redhead girl playing the role. Is that the little redhead girl from Charlie Brown? Oh, look at she's all grown up. It's so, it's so cute. <laughs> Given all those incarnations, the only reason I can see for some people having an issue with this version is because it is a black adaptation that contains issues relevant to our communities, both in the States and in Canada. And for the record, I am a 57-year-old foundational black American born and raised out of New York City, Harlem, to be exact. All right, okay, we got an old head here, guys, and I, and I say that as an old head. I mean, I'm not 57, but God willing, I will be before too long. So he's from New York City, where I'm from. All right, big ups, brother. Like I said, respect to you, okay? We're going to disagree here, but definitely in a respectful manner. As far as, and this is the good part right here, listen up. As far as I'm concerned, this show is virtually a slice of life drama. Incidentally, you're incorrect. Uh, say what now? Incidentally, you're incorrect. You're telling me that I'm incorrect? Well, fuck all that respect stuff. You know, um, anyway, let me finish what he's saying here. Incidentally, you're incorrect in many parts of your review. <laughs> what? Like the original story, Robin was not interested in any of fears regarding activism. She just wanted to find a way to leave home until the attack on her mother forced her to take action. The rest is history. Actually, I did say that in my review. I said that she didn't have much of a character until her mother got hurt, which forced her to get into the story. So, I mean, where, where was I incorrect? Honestly, and this is this is the part that's making me actually do a video about this. He goes on to say, Honestly, it never ceases to annoy me 
when any story that involves black people defending ourselves in every way, shape, and form just drive other people completely nuts. Well, that's just too bad, because we're not going to stop doing it. <laughs> Honestly, never cease to annoy me when any story that involves black people defending ourselves in every way, shape, and form just drive other people completely nuts. Well, that's just too bad because we're not going to stop doing it. Okay, so that's the end of his um, comment there. And Loki, all right, I just want to say this, all right? Black people defending themselves. Where do you see that in Robin with a Y hood? You do understand this is not the story of black people defending themselves. Now, I need you to stay with me on this, all right? This is not the story of black people defending themselves. It's the story of Robin Hood with blackface. Okay? There is a difference, my friend. Respectfully speaking, there's a difference. It's the story of Robin Hood. I, look, we have to be clear on this, guys, because this is not the story of black people defending themselves. It is, in fact, the story of Robin Hood. Now, let's say, for example, we take... Remember, there was a, a, a miniseries back in the day called Shaka Zulu. Shaka Zulu. Okay. Somewhere in the 80s, the mid 80s. Shaka Zulu. Now, let's say we did a modernized version of Shaka Zulu starring, oh, let's say Taylor Swift as a modernized, updated version of Shaka Zulu. <laughs> yes. How does that sound so far, Loki? It's Taylor Swift as a bisexual white girl starring as an updated version of an African king named Shaka Zulu. But it's for modern audiences. It's the same exact thing. We're talking about African folklore, an African story, an African fable based in African tradition for a modern audience for the purposes of white upliftment. White people defending themselves. The story of Shaka Zulu. Doesn't make sense, does it? It sounds really dumb, doesn't it? Now, why would you want to adapt a dumb premise like that and attribute that to being a, 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 a tribute to black people defending themselves? It doesn't work. You know what else doesn't work? Let's go down the list. Uh, how this is hurtful to black people, all right? This is your idea of black people defending themselves. You're throwing things. You're throwing food at cops. We're seeing this in the story. The kids, the people of Sherwood are pelting the cops. As soon as they see them, not even giving them half a chance to do anything, to say anything, they just immediately start throwing eggs at the cops. Get out of here. Get out of here. In real life, what would that do? What Do you think the chances of those kids getting, well, I don't know, arrested are greater or less when you encourage them to throw things at the cops. Hmm? What do you think is going to happen, huh? Also, these kids are seen breaking into public, I mean, breaking into private property. Okay, once again, encouraging criminal behavior. This is your idea of black people sticking up for themselves, committing crimes. Grand Theft Auto, they're seen stealing a very expensive car. What's going to happen when you see something like that? The main character throws, uh, I think, a trash can or something like that, a trash bag at a cop and stands over the cop and laughs, kind of snickers a little bit. Do you think the chances of her running down the hallway giggling like you see on the show, do you think that that's likely that that's going to happen? You assault the cop and you run. <laughs> or do you think, the chances are greater that, I don't know, she might end up on the ground with a knee in her neck talking about, I can't breathe. And destined to become a hashtag. Say her name. I don't know. Do you think that that's something that, is that the desired outcome that you want? That's black people sticking up for themselves. That's what you want to be taught to our impressionable youth. I don't know, Loki. How about the, in the beginning of the story, when the mother talks about Robin and her sister's lazy-ass father. Is that something also that's good for the community? Is that black people sticking up for themselves? Your lazy father 
sleeping on a couch somewhere. You can go live with him. You can sleep on the same couch with your lazy father who is never seen. Now, I've already done videos about this. It's common knowledge that absentee fathers, not having a father in the home, increases the uh, likelihood of children going to jail, the likelihood of an early death, the likelihood of um, illiteracy, also unwanted pregnancy, which brings us to the next thing, which would be Robin's disturbing, highly disturbing promiscuity. When we're introduced to Robin, her mother is asking her if she needs a top up on the condom jar. And I just saw a video where our good friend, Director X, is questioning us for objecting to the idea of the mother providing boatloads of condoms to her daughter. Her daughter is a Her daughter is a a whore. A whore. A whore. She is she runs down a list of all of these names, men, women, animals that she's sleeping with, and her mother is offering her to top up the condom jar. Now listen, I encourage my son to practice safe sex. You know, I, I'm realistic about it. You know, you have to use protection, things like that. Um, bought him a box of condoms, whatever, you know. But I made it known to him that I don't condone this behavior. I just want you to be safe. Not only that, but if you have a condom jar, okay, like a jar of candy, when you start seeing the thing get empty, you top it up. It gets empty. You top it up. There's a problem. There's a problem when she's practicing this type of lifestyle, all right? Because it's not just about disease. It's not just about unwanted pregnancy, but it's also about your self-esteem. Ladies, am I right? Amen? So when you see the mother doing such a thing while at the same time bashing the absentee father, you think that this is a positive representation? This is, what do you say? This is black people sticking up for themselves in every way, shape, or form. See, this is the danger. And Director X, right, he's defending this like there's something wrong with the rest of us for pointing out that this is crazy. There is no parent that's going to be okay with something like that, with their daughter sleeping with everything, sleeping with everyone, and just continuing to pour condoms into this jar. What the, what the fuck? What are we dealing with here? There was a time... When, um, and it probably still is, black women are the number one, I'll look it up because I don't want to give the wrong information. I'll just say there was a time when they were the number one carriers of sexually transmitted diseases. You know what I mean? It has nothing to do with black women just being terrible people. It's just not being educated. You know what I mean? Not loving yourselves enough, not having people who love you enough to look out for you and to educate you. So when you see something like this, you're like, Oh my God, like in 2023, this is what we're doing. You need me to top up the condom jar as you're getting up out of bed in the morning. You know, everyone's having their breakfast. By the way, you need me to top up the condom jar? Freaking ridiculous, guys. You know what I mean? But this is what we're dealing with. And I had to address this real quick. I want to make this short, but I had to address this real quick, guys, because this is the danger of a show like this. We have too many people who are co-signing this just because you think that you're sticking it to white people, but you don't see the, the, the job that it's doing on us. I don't think Director X could be a father in writing in, in writing and in, in directing something like this and developing something like this and, and not know. I mean, I've heard this guy talk about, like he got shot one time, all right? Um, he was a bystander. It wasn't like someone was shooting at him specifically, but he got shot. And he was talking about how he realized that he was actually contributing to this atmosphere of violence in the community. All right. So he had his come to Jesus moment where he knew that he was part of the problem. This was years ago. But what happened, Director X? Julian, talk to me. What happened? All right. That you should continue to be the problem where you can put these things out into the community and act like somehow this is normal. And there's something abnormal about pointing out that this is not this is not it. This is not the way to go. You know, but this is what we have. So once again, the absurdity of it, because people can't get out of the ass of white people long enough to see their own best interest. And I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. That's why I'm here. This is 
who I am. This is why I exist. I know that I'm a thorn in your side, Director X. You want to get to fighting these people over there. But we talked about that before. I'm not going anywhere. This is what I'm here for. I've been waiting for this, bro. I'm, I'm about this. All right. I'm built for this. So, guys, indefinitely Loki who wrote that, uh, that comment. All due respect to you, sir. All right. You got to think about this. When you, when you attribute this to black people defending themselves while you ignore all of these destructive aspects of this story. You're short-sighted, to say the least, all right? Respectfully, I would submit that to you, okay? Now, I saw the comment, and like I said, I had to address it because I don't like that type of ignorance. All due respect, I don't like that type of ignorance to go unchecked in my comment section. So, guys, there it is, something to think about. Why don't you get in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this? As always, I do appreciate you. You can like, you can share, you can subscribe. Thank you guys for the super thanks. Some of you have been so damn um, generous and it really does touch me. I, and I, I really do appreciate you so much. So, uh, anyway, guys, I will catch you on the next one. As always, uh, this is the gospel according to Mark with a C rock on. <laughs>